Hey, what's up, guys? Joey Young here, coming at you with another unboxing video. Got some other parts in uh, for my new setup. I decided to go with Eheims this time and give them another chance. Uh, they, it seems like the other Eheim filter I had, the flow rate kind of drops after you use it for a while. And um, with this one, since it's a smaller tank, I don't really mind the flow rate dropping. I actually was hoping that it would drop so that um, it won't be too much of current. The Fluvals, they've been doing pretty good on the, on the other tanks, so I've been pretty happy with those, but I've also heard good reviews of this, so we'll see how this one goes. That's just the oven kind of giving a timer, so I still have some time. So this is the Eheim Classic 150, so it's a smaller one. So let's go ahead and let's do this unboxing real quick. Let's see what's in it. We got some tubing. And got some other stuff. This is the suction cups. Some more tubing. Okay, so the tubing is definitely a lot smaller than the one I have on my 60p. Uh, they have the flow bar or spray bar. I'm sorry. Let's see, make sure everything. And then these are the Eheim connectors. Goes into the filter. Okay, so they actually pre cut the wires for you here. That's pretty cool. So you got one the intake, which is a smaller tubing, and the outtake is slightly bigger. Kind of interesting. Here is a little baby unit. It's actually pretty heavy, surprisingly. Very small, very compact, so it's great. Nice, so looks like just pretty simple design here. I'll open it in a second here when you get everything out. So here's the other spray bar. What the heck? It's pretty long. Okay, so it covers it can cover the whole tank. Looks like if you need it to. You can trim it down to whatever size you need. So pretty cool. Ah, and it does come with a little stand, which is pretty neato. Bam! Look at that, just chilling. Just chilling. Some instructions, of course. Oh, I'm reading that. Okay, let's go ahead and open this, or attempt to figure out how to open this. Looks like it has some clips. Down, nope, nope. It just comes off. This head unit is actually pretty heavy. It's actually heavier than my other one um, that I have the Eheim. That's pretty interesting. What the? How this guy work? Okay. And we got. Wow, that's a lot. Bio balls. Here's the casing, bigger thing. More stuff. And, ooh, nice. There's a trade out here. So that's it. So it does look like it holds a lot of media. And that's a plus. And all this other good old stuff. So yeah, this is the Eheim 150, the classic version. It looks pretty, pretty cool. So I'm excited. I'll definitely get the setup running. Uh, I'll probably do, I will say this. A review video which I do need to do on a bunch of other products but I'll probably give you initial thoughts and stuff once it's set up uh, and how, how good it is and whatnot but yeah thank you guys for s tuning in and peace